Hey everybody, it's John Corelli, your average guy and his average guy opinion. Uh, this is episode 158. I mentioned last time that I'm going to try to get into some more uh, sordid uh, facts about Colorado history. And uh, I believe I mentioned uh, the internment camp. Uh, it was called Grenada, but uh, most of the uh, uh, people there called it Amache. It was down in the southeast corner of the state. Um, for those of you don't, that don't know about the Japanese internment, here's a brief history. It's something you should know. If, it, if you weren't taught it in, uh, in, in school at some point, you were probably failed by our educational system, but that happens a lot. So, um, of course, uh, right after the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor in December of uh, 1941, uh, President uh, FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, um, declared that uh, any um, persons of Japanese, or actually even Asian descent really, because, you know, we were, if, if we were not woke enough to intern these people in the first place that were living here and had nothing to do with that bombing, um, we certainly weren't woke enough to def differentiate between Japanese people and Korean people and Chinese people. So many Asians, uh, mostly Japanese, but many Asians, um, ended up <clears throat> in internment camps. Uh, there were 10 of them throughout the country. Uh, most of them housed anywhere from, uh, they, uh, from anywhere from uh, basically eight to 18,000 people at any given time. I was looking at the peak numbers. And uh, the one in south, southeast Colorado was uh, actually um, n the lowest populated one. It had the, the highest peak it ever had, I think, was eight, around 8,000 people. Still not great. Um, you look at the photos, it's really chilling uh, to see um, how similar they were to the concentration camps in Germany for the Jews. Um, to, I guess, our credit, I don't know if this is really much credit, but um, that's, I, there were Japanese people that died in these camps. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, there was a story about the, uh, there was a guy who was a really good dentist. Um, I forgot his name, but Japanese dentist, and he died there of a heart attack. He was working his ass off and died. And uh, it was very, you know, southeast uh, Colorado, for those of you who don't know, can get pretty hot and dry and disgusting. It uh, was, you know, right, pretty close to the Oklahoma border. Um, it, it had it had issues with the Dust Bowl back in the 30s. And uh, frankly, they said that that was actually a problem there still when this happened in the, you know, in 42 through 45 when uh, many Japanese uh, nationals were brought there. That uh, the, the the heat uh, and and the and the dust and the dryness there were really a problem. Um, a lot of the other camps they said were actually it was the opposite was true. They were like especially in Arkansas. With the, there were, there were uh, internment camps as far east as Arkansas. Um, if memory serves, uh, out of the ten, I believe two were in Arizona, two in California, two in Arkansas, Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, and Idaho. Each had one. I think that's it. I think that's all ten. Um, so when, when Roosevelt declared uh, that this take place, that we intern Japanese Americans, um, there was a zone, uh, I believe it was called the, uh, oh shoot, I forgot what it was called, but uh, basically a zone where Japanese people were not deemed to live. It was considered, it was like a danger zone type of thing. It's basically because most Japanese people at that point in time in, the, in 1940 were living here, had had emigrated from Japan or Korea or China, and I shouldn't say Japanese people, Asians in general, it's easier to get past across the Pacific than go all the way around the world. So most people, most of those people, as we know, um, have those, those uh, cities uh, along the West Coast, um, including Vancouver, Canada, by the way, has a huge amount of, of, of Asians, uh, very big Asian populations, Vancouver, Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, Los Angeles, all have really big Asian populations because that was the easiest place to emigrate for them. Um, but it was kind of funny this map that they showed. So it went. So basically, the coast was. They're trying to shut off the coast. So all of California was considered uh, land non grata for, for back of a, lack of a better term, for Japanese people. Um, eastern or excuse me, Western Washington and Western Oregon were the same. And then oddly enough. Uh, Southern Arizona, so that was kind of unusual. This uh, Southern Arizona, which borders no ocean, as far as I know, doesn't have high populations of uh, Asian people, was also considered a danger spot. Maybe because it's easy to get from Southern California to Southern Arizona. I don't know, but that was part of it too. So those four states, California as a whole, and the other three, Washington, Oregon, and Arizona, were all like 50-50. And uh, the odd thing for me, <laughs> that I, I thought this was very odd, that uh, 
these these were places the Japanese were not supposed to be. But California had two internment camps, and the two internment ca- camps in southern Arizona were also part of that area where supposedly Japanese people weren't supposed to be. Um, like I said, uh, you look at the pictures; they're bad. Um, it's very very bare bones. Uh, I read an, I, I base this on an art, a lot a lot of uh, internet research, some knowledge through. Uh, through history classes uh, in high school and college, but also just look, getting on the internet. Now, obviously, the internet's a beautiful thing. We learn a lot of stuff that way. But the, it was very bleak. I've been to Dachau in uh, in Munich, in Germany, which is a concentration camp, one of the more famous ones, uh, or infamous as the, as the term may apply. But uh, it's, it's very dark and bleak. They took out a lot of the stuff that was horrific. There were no ovens there. Um, you, you couldn't see where people actually died. But it was still, you got a feel for how cramped it was how there was no heat no 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 heating in the winter no cooling in the summer and uh, it was just rocks there's no plant life anywhere it was rough it was a rough place and and frankly these internment camps in the united states look very much the same like i said no one was killed there officially uh but they were you you couldn't escape there there was razor wire um there was there were guards uh you could not go you were they and uh you were the guards were trained the guards were military guys and they were told if you if you see a japanese person trying to escape uh you shoot them and now as far as i know that didn't happen i haven't seen any reports of that um definitely not for the one in colorado but like i said that dentist died down there and people were down there for years starting 42 i think nine out of the ten shut down by the end of 45 after after the war was pretty much over um you know once uh uh we we went into uh, you know Germany once we took over Germany in May of 1945 and once we dropped the bombs on uh, Japan in August of 1945 we started letting those people go um, yay for us USA USA right <laughs> um, some of the things we don't know uh, or or maybe people didn't think about you just don't think about these things it was like once again another way to equate or uh, maybe the, a parallel with with the Jewish concentration camps. These people were given like one suitcase each. Let's go. Let's go. People had try to sell um, what little what little uh, you know uh, possessions they had. They had to leave businesses behind. They had to leave their communities behind. I mean, there were like ghost towns where, where Japanese people used to live, and their you know and their businesses either got taken over by the banks or were just left to rot and it was pretty horrific and uh, families um, luckily weren't broken up at least families were able to stay together but it was still it's like you're just sitting it's like being in prison for three or four years for nothing for being Japanese I mean think about it Germans weren't great to us either I mean the Germans didn't bomb Pearl Pearl Harbor but uh, the Germans were our enemies did did we intern German people Uh, you know this is straight up racism and especially because it's Let's be honest, it's easier to spot an Asian, or at least who you think is an Asian, versus a German. Um, That's just the way it is. Uh, And like I said, that mistake was made. It wasn't only Japanese people that ended up interned at these camps. Um, I'm trying to think of some more stuff about it. Uh, Colorado specifically, uh, the article article I read, um, uh, you know, a lot of these people are, almost none of them are still alive today, but their kids are alive. Some of them. Some of the people are alive that were children and they're there and their memories are very vague. Um, they have stories of uh, just, there was very little power. I mean, if a power outage went out, there was nothing, uh, there was no heat. Like I said earlier, there was no cooling in the summer. Um, and, uh, you know, as you, as you can imagine, the Japanese are often uh, a very, uh, I don't want to put it, proper society. Uh, women did not want to go to the bathroom with other women, and especially not with men, and they would sometimes uh, have to hold it all day because they would not want to go in the daytime when they could be seen because there were no walls. Um, it was just like a big room with toilets, and uh, so people would wait until night to go to the bathroom because they didn't want to go during the day and 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 chance someone else coming in and walking in on them. That was, a, you know, that was shameful for a, a Japanese national. Uh, I know I should have some more. Uh, that's pretty much it, though. I mean, it was it's just an embarrassment uh, on our culture. And I know ja- there have been, um, I, I believe there have been, uh, there either have been or there at least have, ha- there have been reparations talked about. And I should have looked that up before I talked to you guys for 10 minutes. Um, but maybe I'll put that in the notes um, since I only got 20 seconds left. Uh, let's not let it happen again, shall we? I mean, 
I think we're better at it. It didn't happen after 9/11. People of uh, you know Middle Eastern descent were not were not uh, interned. I guess we're growing in that in that regard. But a lot of bad things did happen to Middle Eastern people or people that weren't even Middle Eastern just looked that way after 9/11. I'm sure you've seen some of those stories. Uh, maybe that's something I'll talk about soon. All right, thanks you guys. Thanks for your time. And like I said, I'll put that in the notes because I am curious about that. Bye.